I'm about to unlock 150 plus trophies in this video. We're gonna platinum every PlayStation 4 Batman game. I never played any of these games, so we better get started right now. But wait, one of these games actually have a 60 hour completion time. The first step is to play through the story of Arkham Asylum. I did this game first since it was the first of the trilogy and the easiest out of all of them with only a 20 hour platinum time. Things were going perfectly and the trophies were piling up. Trophy! Yes, sir. Take that. About to say. Yes, bang for payback. Jesus. Bro, that took me like 10 tries, and it ain't even that hard. I actually thought I could do all three of these games in one week, but that ended real quick when I ran onto this mission right here. What did you say, nigga? Not even three hours in, I was already stumped and couldn't get past this part. This ugly creature right here is considered to be a titan, basically the mutated form of a normal thug. These enemies hit hard, they run fast, but they're really stupid. Now honestly, these creatures are extremely easy to beat, or may it should seem. Whenever they do their charge attack, you're supposed to throw a batarang at them that'll confuse them a little bit, they'll run past you, hit a wall, then you come back and do major damage. Jump on their back, do even more damage to the smaller thugs that are around you. I know it's actually simple to do, but I was going for a trophy mono a mono where you kill a titan without using any battle ranks. Basically, I had to run him into the wall, get him shot, come and do my damage, then move on to the next step. Come on, you big dummy. What you got? Sure. It's your ass. It's your ass. That took me so damn long, bro. Batman Arkham Asylum has a really great and memorable story mode, and I could go on for hours on how well this game was put together, especially with it being the first game out of them all. But I'm not here for that. The goal is to get my very first platinum trophy, so let's go ahead and finish the game and get on to the more challenging things this game has to offer. Kick y'all ass! Chill. Now let's take down Scarecrow. I don't actually consider this one a boss fight since technically there is zero fighting involved between us. Basically his entire boss fight is hide and seek. You do three different sections of this, giving you three quick trophies to add to our rapidly growing collection. Oh, I do. Yeah. Face your biggest fears and keep your sanity. Hey. Resist the fear. I ain't scared, you baby. Definitely the best boss fight was Poison Ivy. I feel like this was the only fight that truly made sense. You cannot beat Mother Nature, but she can destroy you. I will. Oh, oh shit. Oh, God. Throw that and dodge. Throw that and dodge. I'm just getting hit left and right. Come on. You are nothing but food now, Batman. How I'm supposed to I dodge this shit. Put him in me skank. Yeah, eat that. Skank ass bitch. Land a few batarangs, land a few explosives. I'm not gonna lie, it was a quick and easy fight, but definitely worth the five or six hours you have to play through just to get to her. It's weird that one of the side bosses had a more important fight than Joker. Get you some of that butt whooping poison ivy. Defeat the giant titan ivy plant. You free. You is free. at the level with you this bitch don't look right if i was you i'd just be out let's just go now last but not least the final boss fight before we can say we completely beat it to story mode was the joker boss fight which was the most under entertaining boss fight i've had in this game yet just still spoil my fun and for that i'll paint arkham with your blood basically you dodge a few of his attacks then beat up a few of the goons lastly you pull him down from a rooftop onto a wooden floor eventually it'll break he'll get shot after all that is done one last punch from batman and boom i completed the entire story mode in one day this took me about 10 to 12 hours and yeah of course i beat it on hard just like i'm gonna do all of these games big bang one more Bigger bang, one more. Yes, sir.
Complete the story mode on hard difficulty. All right, enough slow poking around. The easy parts are out of the way. Now it's time to move on to what everybody's been waiting on. The Riddler's grind test, which we'll save for last since that's the most grindy of them all. Hint, hint, there's literally 240 of those things I have to find. The conundrum cracker, baby. So 55% of Riddler challenges. Let's get it, baby. I'm gonna be straight honest with you. This is the very first variation of the combat and predator scene. Now, if you remember, I said this game was technically the easy out of the three. Boy, was I wrong. I'm dead as fuck, man. How the fuck they see me? Right now, we're in a Predator mission. You basically need 24 of these Predator stars or Predator Batarangs to get the trophy that I'm looking for, Predator Gold. The first three Predator challenges basically say sneak up behind a henchman and perform a silent takedown. Easy. Explode a wee wall into a henchman and knock him out. Easy. Knock down a henchman with a Batarang and take him down. Easy. These Predator missions go from stages one, two, and three. One being the easiest, three being the hardest. I'll do this one really fast so you can see how easy the first three missions is. Now for the silent takedown, I just need to find one by itself, take him down, and move on to the next step. I might find one right out the bat, right out in the open. It's pretty easy. He ain't even gonna try to catch me. First one out the way. Now I need to explode a weak wall onto an enemy. There's two enemies literally right here, so guess what? Boom, got this one. Now we're gonna fly up top to hide for a little while and do the third one. The third one is throw a batarang at an enemy, then knock him down. I hit him with a batarang, jump down on the ground, crush his head. I have all three medals now. Now let me show you how hard these things can get. Now we're on to the one that took me the longest. This actually takes 15 minutes if you get it right on the first try. If you die or you don't succeed to get all three, then you won't be able to get the trophy. This one says take down three hitchmen with three different walls at once using explosive gel. Line lines through a window and take out a henchman on the other side and glad kick an enemy and knock him down truthfully this is where the batman games have me in a daze of patience i'm someone who loves fast paced action qtes button mashing and running around like a complete maniac waiting around 12 minutes to get one silent takedown or using my brain to take down three enemies simultaneously with three different walls is completely out of my league but as always somehow i mustered up the courage to finish Them bitches out now. We move it down, Predator go. Uh, I just got like 10 of them and like, I don't know, I just got good at the Predator missions out of nowhere. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> now it was time to step in my realm, the combat challenges. This is where I shine. This is where I truly live. This was my house and I was defending it with my life. Go! So now look, we're on the extreme Batman challenge. You have to get all three medals to get 50,000 points on this game mode. I mean, honestly, this is definitely the hardest out of all of them, but if you do it right, bro, and just break all their arms, it's pretty easy. Don't you go for that weapon, sir. Break your arm. Don't you do it. Get over to this guy. Break his arm. As soon as I come out of here, kick this guy. Block that. Yes, sir. 41 combo again. Bam. We have 42,000. Basically need 8,000 for the last round. Then. It's a shame that while you've been fighting, I've had everyone you love brutally murdered. Damn, G, relax. What's it do? Oh, I got it. Oh, I got all three stars. Damn, I didn't even know I did it. GG. Free flow bronze. Damn, that's hard to say. Eight achievement medals and comeback challenges. Oh, I'm beating ass. It's hard. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, look, we finally made it to the end of Batman Arkham Asylum. We'd already did the story mode complete. We've already did the combat mode complete. We've already did the predator missions complete. All we need now is the 240 riddles. With the power of editing, you won't have to sit and watch everything that I do. We'll get all the way down to the last couple. I'll show you those. We'll have 100% of this game and my very first platinum trophy. And this video will be the start of something crazy. Then we'll move on to the next Batman games to get a Another two platinum trophies. Mental athlete, yes sir. Lateral thinker, baby. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Yes, yes, yes. My first platinum on this PS5, bro. Let's go. One down, two more games to go. All right. Now 
that we're finally finished with Batman Arkham Asylum, we can actually start grinding out the storyline on Batman Arkham City. This game has a 60 hour completion time and a 7 out of 10 difficulty rating on PSN profiles. I'm going to give myself a challenge to try to complete the Platinum experience in under 40 hours. The goal is to basically no light the game for two days straight without any time consuming faults or hang ups on my end. Since I've already showed 80 to 90% of the previous game storyline, I won't waste your time with this game storyline. Let's be real here. Every Batman game is pretty much the same. You go here, you beat up some guys, you go to another place, you do some predator missions, so on and so forth. Woo! Breaking fucking arms. However, there were a few highly underrated boss fights I completed while I was on my speedrunning journey. I fought Solomon Grundy in some type of weird electrocution chamber. I didn't even realize he was in the game until now. I'm about to kick his ass. That's what I'm about to do. Come and get these cheeks ran, boy. Oh, you're asking for it now. Let's see how much that ugly son of a bitch can take. Sending all the juice to that boy. Oh my god, it turned into the Hulk. After basically killing Solomon Grundy, I punched, kicked, and slammed Mr. Freeze's head into the concrete multiple different times. Talk about a brain freeze. Yes, I done told your ass. Fight versus you for 30 minutes. Yeah, keep punching. That's a joker. I didn't see. Thank God I got this trophy. Jesus Christ. And oh yeah, I landed a thousand hit combo to complete the storyline of Batman Arkham City. And for two weeks. <laughs> what I do, you play with me, I'm gonna beat your ass for two weeks. That man doesn't kill, man's literally killing this dude. So look, I've been playing for about, damn, that's embarrassing right there. I don't even know if I need to say that. I don't wanna embarrass myself like that. Let's just say I've been playing for more than 11 hours to get most of the stuff that I've done. And all I need now is the rescue the last hostage from Riddler and beat the game on New Game Plus. You know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the Riddler out the way and then I'll be done with everything. We'll be able to move on to Batman Arkham Knight. All right, I know I said I would go ahead and capture the Riddler, but first instead, let's complete all the side missions and earn all the trophies that come with them. All of these are about 15 to 20 minutes long in this done correctly and continuously focusing only on one side mission at a time you can run through these in a heartbeat yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> flying with one hand <laughs> now that that steps out the way let's move on to the riddler i like to think the riddler is the true main boss of this game the real reason this game is basically impossible to platinum is because of the 400 riddler secrets or collectibles you have to earn or achieve when grinding the game let me show you exactly what i mean by that all right we've done everything we can do on the easier part of the game there are 400 trophies or secrets that you can get in this game. They're going down in Batman's here. Bro, shut up. I'm trying to explain something. Let me explain to you what you think is strange. Send us down some warm clothes. If one more person goes to talk, I'm gonna beat up everybody in this game. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. Step one, you want to open up your map. As you can see, I pretty much have a few riddle trophies already pulled up. I'll go to some of these and show you how simple they can be or how hard they can be. One of the many secrets in this game are pretty much breakable objects such as cameras. You throw a batarang at them. We've lost the camera in sector two. Another riddler trophy or secret in the game is pictures. You have to take pictures of all these question marks throughout the game. If you do one of these, more will pop up, you'll move on to the next step. Next up on the riddler trophy or secrets are little bitty mini games throughout the entire map. Here's a quick example of some that are extremely easy. These do get hard as hell, I'm not gonna lie. These are all the trophies you need to do in every section. As you go through the gameplay or the storyline, more of these will open up, but you also have to do the Batman challenges as well. Let me show you one of these really quick. This one says perform a vertical dive for over 50 meters. Basically, I got it on the first try. Whoa, where'd you come from, brother? The hell? Let me beat your cheeks real quick. I ain't no stupid bitch, though. Oh, knock me out. Got damn it interrogate now you need riddler secrets you get enough of these you get to unlock more questions around Please the map don't hurt me i'll talk i knew you would 
get enough of these, you'll get a hostage situation. And I'll show you what that is right now. Now that we have enough Riddler seekers, he will contact you with one of his many hideouts. Basically, you travel to this location, beat up all the information or guards holding the hostage. After saving the hostage, he will grant you with a very useful radio code and the Enigma machine. These radio codes lets the Riddler know we've completed his hostage situation flawlessly and that we're ready to use the Enigma machine for the next hostage situation. This is another mini game inside of the already annoying everlasting task he set up for us. No matter how long it takes you to solve any of these, he will always think you cheated in some type of way. No, this is not happening. Did you cheat? Of course you did. It's the only way. Well, it ends now. Finally, let's handle the Riddler. I can't wait to get my hands on that boy. Finally made to the Riddler hideout. I've done all the Riddler challenges. There's probably like 10 left, but they don't make you do all 10 of them. Riddler's attached explosives to his hostages. If they stop moving, they'll die. I can't get in their way. Is that the Riddler hideout right there? Back the fuck up. I'm coming the for them up. cheeks, boy. And when I get them, I hope they green. Cause I'm gonna spank them a little bit. My kiss on them. You know what? Let me stop. Gay! Genius, baby. Okay, it's about six or seven hours later and all the side missions and Riddler collectibles are done. Now let's move on to the newly updated and improved combat, predator, and campaign rank mode. There's about six trophies involved with all of these, basically being numbered by color. Two bronze, two silver, and two gold. So I need 24, 48, and 72 medals as Batman for the bronze, silver, and gold revenge. And then when you get to the campaign, you need 36, 72, and 108. And basically I'll explain the campaign when we get to it, but as of now, I'm just about to do all the combat missions because those come easy to me. Oh, ass as always, baby. Yes, finally, goddamn. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Now we can go and complete this bad boy. Yes, hey! Eee! -e -e -e. what I do. The last outstanding thing we need is to complete the campaign challenges. These consist of three challenges total. One combat, one predator, one combat. Hopefully you're keeping up with everything I'm saying. The last here being extreme or the hardest. Three combat challenges in a row technically being the easiest to me. I'm pretty good at the combat I like to think. And three predator missions in a row being the hardest challenges known to man. Completing every tier and getting all nine Riddler coins on every map will grant you all campaign trophies. Sounds easy enough, but wait, there's more. You only get three retries for every Every set, somewhat making this seem almost easier than you initially thought. That's where you're wrong. The issue lies inside the actual challenges that you have to complete simultaneously. Use too many of your retries on the first and second challenge, then you're stuck hoping the last challenge goes smoothly. It definitely will not, but wait, there's more. If you thought that wasn't enough, imagine adding beneficial and detrimental modifiers on top of everything else. As if we needed any more obstacles in our way. These modifiers have to be used 100% correctly on specific maps, on specific challenges, and especially on specific situations. Let me explain to you exactly what I mean. These are some of the modifiers that go along with what you already have to deal with. Decreased health. The player starts the challenge with reduced health. Scattered weapons and combat enemies will pick up and throw objects at you. In Predator, the environment will start pre-mined and proximity activated explosive. One hand tied. Counter icons will not be displayed before enemy attacks. In Predator, the player will not be able to perform a silent takedown from behind. Those are just some of the few, and I do mean few modifiers that you get in this game. So I'm gonna try to do this one without any modifier it technically would be a little bit simpler since I know exactly where to go, exactly locations to be. With such ingenuity that I fear you will die here. Still. Throw this here. Come over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got my first riddle coin. Like I said, it seems like I'm flying through these because I've already trained myself to know exactly where everybody's gonna be. We're gonna do that. Damn, got I died just like that. <laughs> I died just like that. <laughs> well, well. So the shaved monkey has failed. How utterly, utterly expected. Midnight trophy! And Lord Jesus, let this be the final trophy I need so I can move on to the next game. Throw a batarang, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Turn it around, baby. Turn it around. Come on, baby. Let that be it. Let this be it. Yes, perfect night day two. Ah, now we can move on to Batman Arkham Knight. Platinum trophy, baby. 
there's two platinum trophies on my new PS5. All right, enough celebrating. The video isn't done yet and we still have a long way to go. Previously, I made you guys this promise. I said this exactly. I'm going to give myself a challenge to try to complete the platinum experience in under 40 hours. The goal is to basically no light the game for two days straight without any time consuming faults or hangups on my end. Well, as you can see, I absolutely ran through this game like a hot knife through butter. For some outstanding reason, this game is rated for 60 hours. I don't know why they say that I did it in 36. I was playing no games when I was going for this platinum. I was completely locked in and had one mindset to speed run this game in one complete day. And yes, I literally beat this game in 24 hours, even though it says 36. If you made it this far in the video, I recommend you watch to the end. If you want a few dollars in your pocket, the only way to enter the giveaway I'm gonna do at the end of the video is to type something specific down in the comment section below. I don't know how much it's gonna be. Watch to the end of the video, you'll get your free chance to win a few dollars from your favorite YouTuber. Kiss kiss. Now that that's out the way, let's finish the newest Batman game in the trilogy. First, let's knock out every story related trophy to kick off this portion of the video the only way I know how. I mean, did you really expect me to start off this portion of the video any other type of way? Let me explain to you how easy this game is. On paper, this game is rated a four out of 10 with a 40 hour completion time on PSN profiles. Basically landing itself in the middle ground of all three games. Seems simple enough to understand, but see if you could wrap your head around this. The outstanding gadgets make every encounter or situation an absolute cakewalk, such as the explosive batarang, the maxed out electro charge, or the downright overpowered five times multi-fear takedown. Literally 60% of your fights will only have one to three enemies left if this is performed correctly. And please don't let me forget the ridiculous voice synthesizer, my favorite out of the bunch, which gives you the ability to force any enemy or drone to move in any direction or location you like for easy introverted takedowns or stylish elemental takedowns. I mean, seriously, this weapon tree would make James Bond want to quit his day job. From my understanding, the only true obstacle that stood in the way from the completion of this game was the god-awful trash heap we like to call the Batmobile. 99% of the time, I absolutely love vehicles in video games and in real life. As a matter of fact, this is what I drive on a daily basis. So fun. <laughs> That's me? Is that me sound like that? He's about to I drive it every day and I have the windows up so it's like I really don't hear what's going on the outside but now that I have somebody driving it and I'm driving his car bro this that car is loud as shit I love it I absolutely love it. Yes, I know I seemed so happy in that previous clip, but when it comes down to this rat-shaped, overweight, and not actually fast piece of trash, I basically want to drive off the top of this building known to man. You would think the racing would be the easiest section of this game, since you're basically driving the infamous Batmobile. Guess what? You're wrong. Every race is luck based, with numerous trap doors, unfair spike drones, and manual crushing weight presses at every turn. On top of all that, you get one to three minutes to finish every race, rewarding you with the corresponding stars attached to your time. Smack a door during a race? Start over. Get crushed by a manual weight press during your race? Start over. Going too slow through the spike drones during a race? <laughs> Guess what? Start over. After six, seven, probably even eight hours, that's just me being generous or a better half of the day. Finishing all these races, I was actually smacked in the face and rewarded with one singular trophy. So this is one of the Batmobile races that you have to do. I'm basically just showing you after I finish this race, I only got one more race to do and I'm doing well so far. Get this coin. I have to use the 1970s Batmobile after this. Oh, I dodged that one perfectly. Drift around this corner to slow the time down. Drift around that corner. Hit the wall a little bit, but we ain't tripping. Hit the wall a little bit again. As long as I'm getting these coins, we good. Miss that one. Oh, we should be good. Slow the time down. Dodge these guys. Drift around this corner a little bit. Ah, I missed that. Ah, I got the coin. 
Got the coin, got the coin, got the coin. Oh, I hit a guy. We don't worry about it though. I got pretty much all the coins. We can just activate the drifter, drifter mobile and good. We got all three stars. Seems easy enough. I've done this race a hundred times, trust me. Now I have to do the race again with the last Batmobile for one trophy. The other races are 10 times harder than this one. I'm just showing you the easier one for the video. Yes, I'm finally finished, bro. All of that for one trophy, bro. One trophy. It's trash. So look, I'm gonna keep it real with you. This is pretty much the end of the video. I am gonna show the rest of the trophies, but the issue was my audio through the rest of the game for 10 to 12 hours, all this stuff I recorded is completely trash. I think someone called me. I hit the mute button because they was talking about something important. I forgot to unmute myself. Everything from here on out is pretty much muted. So what I'm gonna do is show you all the trophies and the reaction to my platinum trophy, even though I don't have any vocal cords in the rest of the video. So look, this is what I need you to do. Comment hashtag rarity25. I'm gonna hook somebody up with $25. All three of these games were absolutely free. And I feel like you guys deserve that being that you didn't get to see the full video. You only got to watch about 25 minutes of the video. It is what it is. Hashtag rarity25. I'm gonna pick somebody. Hopefully you got Cash App or PayPal. And we're gonna move on to the next video game. I'm thinking about doing Grand Theft Auto 5 or Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you guys don't mind me taking another month to make another video. Those games will take forever. Here's the trophies. Yeah. And the platinum trophy in my reaction. Wash my teeth up, wash my face. Stop my wake up, get up, stretch my legs, eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Wash my teeth up, wash my face, throw my clothes on, stop my. Wake up, I can smell the smoke from the bacon. Yum, yum, yum. Let's go, see the sun shining from the windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know that today will be a good day. Okay, I know that today will be a good day. Yeah, yeah. A, B, C, one, two, three, drink some water. 